Yes, we're in kindergarten. I'm here with the legend, ladies and gentlemen, the lady herself who's after winning an award for one of the best practices here in Leinster. And it's Marcel. Uh, how's it going, Marcella? Very good, thank you, Ray. How are you? Very, very good. Now, I'm just going to change the camera around because yeah. we are in, we're in where it all happens. <laughs> we're in near the chair and the whole lot. Just one question for yes. you. You are from Honduras? No, Guatemala. Guatemala. Yeah. Very hard to get that out. And I you know. speak it a different way. Guatemala. Guatemala. Yeah. Guatemala. Guatemala. Yeah. What's with Guatemala. Guatemala. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not slagging here. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> but anyway, um, tell us, how did you get involved in uh, dentistry? Well, I got involved in dentistry many years ago, you know, starting in 1998, you know, in my own country. So um, you kind of, uh, I wanted to, to be a doctor, but then I, my, my mother being a nurse at the time, um, and now she's a lawyer, she said to me, look, you know, you, you want to be your own boss, so you know, your own time, own your own time. Uh, because in Latin America, being a woman and being a professional is really tough. Yeah. You know, so uh, I decided to go for dentistry because I love medicine and I love doing art with your hands, you know, so it's, it has both things. And I started in 1998 and studied for five years and I did uh, a year of experience. Um, you have to... So in college then, you you went from your ordinary school then mm -hmm. to college and yeah. you went and done dentistry in the college. Yeah. And is that subsidized by the, comp the country or how, exactly. is that, how does that work? Yes, it's a semi-private uh, college, you know, so the country pays the taxes and then you are then... Um, a student, you know, paying very, very affordable fees, you know, to, to finish your, your studies. Uh, so when you finish your, your your five years of studies, you do a year of uh, free work, you know, in the countryside. So it's a public health, you know, so it's based um, uh, in helping, you know, the most needed, so especially children. Mm -hmm. And so you get to choose a place. Uh, so I did a year in a community where there was a lot of people in... Um, uh, suffering with H AIDS, you know, so wow. we have to do projects for, for them, a part of the dental work, you know, and so as well, you help children that have very little access, you know, uh, to many things, you know, water, you know, the basic Even needs. Even water, yeah. Yeah, wow. so the basic needs. So uh, we create a program to minimize the K and the K risk for them. Uh, so uh, yes, I was in charge of about five schools at the time. Wow. It was a fantastic experience, you know, help, you know, your own, you know, and see how you can make changes, you know. Yeah, and your social skills and your connecting skills and your networking skills and all them things have five places. I mean, you must be some <laughs> operator, I'll tell you. You must be good in school, right? Oh, look, you, you know, when, once you love what you do, you know, and you want to help people, you know, you, yeah. that's... It is, you have a drive, you know, to see the difference and to make a difference, you know, for, for people that need it, you know. So um, we are motivated as well in college, you know, uh, about helping others. And it's a great sense of um, public health, you know, that, you know, we, they create for us as well, you know, an incentive. And, and from your country then, is it poor and very rich? You have, yeah, yeah, you have that, you know, you have the yeah. very, very rich and the very, very poor. It's a very middle line in between, you know, the... The middle, the middle class, let's say, you yeah, know, it's yeah. very, very difficult to, for many people to, to live their daily lives. But thankfully enough, you know, it is a very motivated country in the sense that you ask somebody, how are you doing? Like they could have the worst day ever, yeah. and they say, I'm fantastic, with a smile, you know. So yeah. it's, 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 yeah, it's about to have a, as well positive attitude, you know, to make changes. Yeah? How did you get to Ireland? Well. My lovely husband, yeah. <laughs> he's Irish, yeah, he's from Olingar. So we met over there when he was working. He works with a charity called Plan International that helps uh, children with disabilities. Wow. Yeah, uh, he focuses on gender equality so as well. So this is, I met him, you know, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he, he, yeah. He brought you home to yeah, his mommy. He, yeah, he kidnapped me. No, I'm not. <laughs> There you promised are. me, son. Here you are. <laughs> Some days. Some days, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we had a great sky yesterday. Today's a little bit dark, but um, <laughs> you're after winning a fantastic award. You're the Leinster Dentist of the Year. Correct. Is that it? Yeah. It's correct. Yeah, the Colgate Caring Dentist of the Year, 2019. You feel yeah. like smiling all the time. I feel like smiling all the time. I think that, you know, you have to smile, you know. Why not, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, look, um, uh, it's great chatting to you and thank you very, very much. 
I can feel the energy off this woman. She's a legend and there's <laughs> something special about her. So if you want to get your teeth done or just call for a chat, call in. Thank this you. This is Marcel. Uh, uh, what's your... Torres. Torres, yeah. Torres. Levy. Levy, yeah. It's like boom, 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 boom. And it sounds Torres. <laughs> I, the first glass of wine I had was... Oh, yeah. Torres, yeah. Torres. Yeah. There you are, folks. Yeah. It's Ray Dolan ranting away. Thanks Bye. Thanks for all your patience. Bye.